Hello, Adam Rayner, Talk Audio TV. I'm sitting inside a rain with a man outside Celsius who deliver enjoyment. Now, this is a T5 van belonging to Mr. John Griggs. Hello, John. Adam, we've been doing all kinds of tech demos and checking out stuff all day, looking at various bits of audio from Jail Audio and Kicker. This is about a thing from Kicker, it's called the Kicker Key. Now, the big majority of a car audio is that no one's changing car radios anymore really these days it's there's a few folks who are but there are still an awful lot of cars on the road and an awful lot of them can still be enhanced dramatically with a bit of better kit can't they john so yeah this little piece of kit here is an amplifier with four channels isn't it it is how many watts mister four by 45 four by 45 and basically the plot is is that for your 230 30 quid you're getting a monstrously better weightier piece of kit to amplify your audio than that which comes with your car and it's designed to work with speakers like what you might have anyway because quite often they're going to take a bit more power than they were originally given now here next to the other half of the foot long sub that we have for lunch I'll take that on the way home, is the kicker key now basically all you do is interrupt the speaker leads and plug this thing in the midst of it so there's a bunch of speaker leads there there's a bunch of speaker leads there, and then there's two red, two black, and a blue wire. The blue wire actually isn't being used. As you can see, the or you take it from me, your wanted wire isn't being used because this can sense when there's stuff going on, can it not, John? He does. He, he senses a, a voltage down the input feed, so it switches itself on by that. So, so far, so good. There's an awful lot of switches on the end here, though. This is way more than just merely making it meatier and beatier and bigger and badder, isn't it? Tell us about what this thing can do. Well, as you said, Adam, it's, it's an amplifier, 4 by 45 watts, but it's not just an amplifier, it's a smart amplifier. It's got a built-in, powerful 40-band EQ, time 40. correction, yeah. and also built-in crossovers. Those built-in crossovers are controlled by those two switches on the end there, whether they're one up, one down, both down, both up, or the other way, giving you four different crossover frequencies or off, basically. No, three crossover frequencies and off, so you can use it full range. Etan says there is another form of crossovers which is built into the uh, oh. real time um, self setting yeah. on there when it will actually correct, it will detect on certain vehicles such as BMWs which don't have a tweeter in the front yes. and it will detect that and adjust its crossovers apparently for accordingly to that. Um, and a chunk of that would be what that uh, mic input socket is all about because you have got a microphone here which is uh, yes. sat upon the top there and basically you, that's used only at install time I take it. Yes, once it's installed um, and it, you've done all the calibrations um, that is then removed from the car, given to the customer and the only time you need to use it is if you fitted it into another car. Fair is. So, so this is being put by your head. Um, so, I believe we can play this with that big fat white wire you've got in there as well. There's a switch on it. If we just pull that out. So there's a turn the entire system back to OEM type thing so you can hear it just running on the OEM amplifier. That's correct, yeah. I'll give you that. And also, the product itself, you can press a button and hear it without the DSP but with the extra power. Yes. Yeah, can, we, can we audition all three in here like that? Yeah, that's no problem at all. Dude, well, I'll tell yeah. you what I'll do. I've got my phone um, yeah. and we've... On the 60th anniversary of Blue Peter, I can tell you that uh, here's one we prepared earlier. Um, here we go, this is unlock the phone. And uh, I've got a couple of bits of music here. Let's play this acoustic circles, this little tinkly thing. Put this thing in the middle. So we're playing now a totally factory. So it's a factory OEM stereo and factory speakers. What we'll do with the button is we'll release the button. Air it open. More musical, more power. We'll switch it off again. Muffled, crap, tedious, boring. What you'll also hear is the music will lift. The way the sound stage. I think the surround sound microphones on my Sony may well be revealing that to the viewers if I shut up. says you can't hear sonic improvement on YouTube. Dude. So we're taking a DSP on and off there? No, that is the whole the amplification, the whole amplification and everything. And yes. everything. Yeah. Can we do just the DSP on and off? So we've got more power. Yeah, we'll do that with the switch, which is within the microphone. 
so we're plugging in the microphone. And now we can hear it. So that's no DSP. Still bigger and nicer. There's DSP. Oh my gosh, let's do that again. Wow. <laughs> do you know what? I don't, I don't think I can add to that. Ladies and gentlemen, the kicker key, known as the 180.4. Um, literally, an amazing piece of kit. One other really, really cool thing is that it can be set up so that you can use one amp and two amp as a separate sort of item um, and buy amplifier a set of BMW front door components. That's correct, yes. Wow. Yep. And that's a big thing, Aguan, for the Beamer boys. So upgrades are out there, they're easily to, you know, easy to install, but the cost of that versus doing this is going to be a dramatic improvement. I can't believe it's the same tweet. The, the installation on this as well, Adam, is, is very simple. Because when, when we ever talk about DSP, as you mentioned earlier, it's all of a sudden we have to get a laptop out, to get a nap out, spend a good few hours on yes. setting this up. All we do is with a microphone, we mount it onto the listening position's headrest. Uh -huh. It comes with a, a rubber strap just to hold it into place. Elegant, yeah. We play Pink Noise, which is available as a download from Kicker, and we press the button. What you will hear is tones played through each speaker. I call that doing the doof-doofs with some of Exactly, <laughs> and it will analyse each speaker real time <laughs> while you're going to make yourself a cup of tea. Oh, mate, that is so cool. I hate to say this, but it's sort of enough to make Bob Hobson spit in his grave. Geezer. Ah, while you talk about him, he is not gone. And there would be a different response. But no, that all frivolity and foolishness aside, this really is a big fat slice of 21st century car audio. You don't have to tear holes apart. You don't have to change your art, anything. Just add this and you will get one hell of a result. Awesome. This is Adam Rayner and... Mr. John Griggs signing out for Talk Radio TV. Then you get the kicker key 180.4. Check out the description for where to find yours.